Yo guys, it's Navi here. I know it's been a while. I know this. I have a very good story to explain to y'all what has been happening with my life. So in the past about two, three months, I had to move out of my house. My parents sold the house. Don't worry, I did not get kicked out. And I had to get rid of my dog. Gave it to one of my friends because I was, it was just conflicting too much in my schedule to having to take care of it. He's in good place. I still go see him every here and there. And I had to sell the S14 which was kind of sad but i did not sell the fd which is right here so this is my new place and i have moved here in the past month and i've been planning on building my car in this garage so we will be building the veil side in this garage and these two are customers car at the moment that's my roommate's working on he's doing a full harness on this s13 this is Vil's car i'll leave his instagram down below as well as this car he just finished um it's ready to go just needs a little tweaks so if you guys need any wiring done any cage work done bash bars any drift things done you gotta hit up street samurai uh, i'll leave his instagram down below he's my roommate he's really good at what he does and you also have to talk to my buddy andrew who's really good at fiberglass and putting body kits on and on like i'm all right but like when it comes to like bondoing stuff and like you know sanding it down making it nice andrew's the man so he's literally helping me put this kit back on i know you guys have not seen the car it's been a while i have a better update like literally the last time you saw we put the motor back in everything was good to go until i was bleeding my clutch yeah so when i was bleeding my clutch it was not bleeding properly and then there was fluid leaking underneath like there's a spot underneath the transmission from the bell housing so we realized my slave cylinder was bad um yeah i had to buy a new slave cylinder and we literally pulled the motor out forward we didn't lift it up all the way we just pushed it forward disconnect the mounts got a transmission jack unbolted the transmission and literally put the new slave cylinder in i had to also get a new custom line which is right here don't know if you can see it but after all that happened i got it back together the car up just to see if everything was working everything was good i just have to tune it and we, I will be doing that as well as over here right now. I'm in the process of wiring my fans with a relay that I got. So since the kit is very big, as you can see, that's the rear fender. We have to literally bring the kit here piece by piece, which is in my storage unit, like maybe like 10 minutes away. So tonight we're going to be putting the rear fenders on and hopefully doing some adjustments to this uh, and let me just go inside of the vehicle let me show you how since last time i have my dash on we end up flocking it Did not turn out very well because we didn't use enough glue so i might just have to retake it out and sand it that was yeah that was kind of a fail not everything you do it's perfect there's a lot of failures that occur but as long as you fix them and move forward that's all that matters i'm borrowing a seat from josh um literally everything is all wired up i did do my trunk setup i'm not sure if i showed it to you guys last time but let me go over here trunk is open yep that's all my wood setup that's all done i do need another compressor <laughs> that would help out a lot it uh this is the wheels i was planning on using for my track setup i do have another set uh that i'm going to use i'm not going to reveal them yet i will be rebuilding those uh sometime over here and also if you guys need any tires done as well as you know get them balanced we do all that over here 25 and tire if you want to message me on instagram comment down below if you're in the area you need some tires done you know we're welcome to help you out on that tonight we will be putting the kit on i will take some clips later on during the day once andrew gets here maybe like in two hours 
and we can go on you know trying to put the rears on and measure everything up uh they do have to do a couple sanding over here a little bit i did pick up the hood as well which is right there you know my toolbox is right here i had to move all the stuff here from my house don't worry i didn't get kicked out and this is another project i'm working on uh i started on this uh cluster cover from the fd so what i did was put bondo in here um yeah this is my first time using bondo and it got all in my hands <laughs> probably the last time using bondo like because it is really messy yeah you don't want to do that Little dash that i purchased from holly which i will be mocking it up over here um to make it look super clean and sand this out and i have to drop this piece off to my interior person um i will link his uh website and his instagram contact information down below for hydro dipping he does all types of hydro dipping i'm pretty much going to be carbon fiber hydro dipping my interior which is going to make it look really nice after also i'm going to be dropping this kit off to jason if you guys need any paint work done locally um you know you're welcome to hit him up he's really good at what he does and he has very reasonable prices yeah this is the same spot we built a supra and yeah i live here now and yeah that's it so i'll see you guys tonight when andrew's here and back and looks like we have a person in the building oh the hood on for the first time <laughs> having little difficulties over here and just not lining up properly oh no one saw that. No one saw that. That did not happen. big hole we made a big mess now we got to clean this mess up hi Luke <laughs> hello <laughs> nice photo shoot and I'm not gonna tag you all right <laughs> all right guys that is the end of this vlog and yeah I will be consistently trying to finish this kit as soon as possible uh, just wait for the next one we'll try to get more things done but yeah if you have any comments suggestions leave it down below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe